All right, so I'm back once again with WWE Dead Reckoning in Part 9. Uh, so, on my final Sunday Night Heat match, I had to face against Ric Flair, bro. This motherfucker was whooping my ass. I couldn't even hit this nigga. Every time he just did a damn move, his whole uh, special bar would just fill all the way up. Then he put me in a figure four leg lock and made me tap out. But I guess apparently it was a part of the plan to recircuit me in evolution. They ran the order and Batista came out and beat my ass. So, let's find out what's going to happen on my second week of Raw. Man, I barely been this motherfucker and niggas already jumping me and beating my ass. But, I got to make my decision if I should join Evolution or not. For the week of July, show one, a value investment. Huh, what's what's gonna happen now, bro? I might get my ass beat again. I might join the group. I I I, I had no idea. This nigga Triple H. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna try to read really like Triple H. <clears throat> Last week, I had my boys play a little visit to a certain coming and I'm becoming superstar and laid down the law. Since he's sees fit to sign up with Raw, the show I made famous, they gave him two choices. Alright. I really can't do his voice, literally, to be on trying. So right now, I'm calling you out, Future. Why are you calling me out, bro? I just got to the damn show. So you can let all these people out here know what's go what it's going to be. Are you going to join the big time? Or are you going to take your chances with all the other jobbers in the back? Oh, okay, bro. Like, I shit, I'll come out then, my nigga. If that's the case. Like, <laughs> call me out for the air, buddy. Like, all right, my nigga. Like, I can beat your ass. Dancy Triple H is 6'4". I'm 6'7". So, here you are. Finally on the biggest professional wrestling stage in the world. So, let me ask, uh, what's it gonna be, uh, are you with us, uh, or will your first official act on Raw be getting the worst ass kick of your life, uh? <laughs> well, Triple H, I given a lot of thought your little helpers to convince me last week and i got to say that your moving speech is how now has definitely helped me make up my mind so cerebral assassin since you demand to know which side i'm going to play for let me tell you my answer is chris jericho y2j bro why is everybody coming out here right now like damn chris jericho is coming out here Oh, man, please don't tell me I got to do a tag team match because I, I am not trying to do a tag team match. Well, well, sorry to interrupt your little recircuit and draw Triple H. But I need to remind you that yours is not the only organization that exists on this show, Junior. Because <laughs> that's what Jericho be saying. He be calling people Junior. And as far as who runs things around here, Junior, well, you may be the boss of Evolution, but you certainly ain't the boss of me. And you ain't the guy that runs things around, Junior. Junior. <laughs> As much as you like to believe you are. Oh, I'm not the boss, huh? And I suppose you are, huh? <laughs> I didn't say that, Junior. And I didn't come down to the ring to debate that with you. At least not right now. No, I came down here to tell you that I'm not going to stand idly by and let the lights of evolution cherry pick every blue chipper that walks into the locker room. You and your thugs can get away with a lot around here, and I can't stop the new guy. If he wants to make a career-killing mistake by joining you, but I don't think he needs to at least, a consent, at least consider a different path before he makes that decision. So what's it going to be? Are you going to get strong on into his pack of wolves, or maybe you like to join up with me and the guys to put it into scum like Evolution? Well, like I said, my mind was made up before, and you just confirmed that my decision is the right one. As of now, I'm to start my... As of now, I want to start my raw career by joining up with yeah, you niggas. Just start fighting each other. I'm like, bro, like my tall ass just looking. I'm not gonna break it up. I'm back. I'm better than ever. I'm back. That's the entertainment value I have. Man, I was trying to make the voices up with Chris Jericho and Triple H. In case you two forgot, let me remind you who runs things on Eric Bischoff's Raw. Why? It's me, Eric Bischoff, talking in third person. Not you, Chris Jericho, and certainly not you, Triple H. So, now that we get that out the way, I'm going to ask you two boys to play nice, at least for the time being. I can't help but notice that there is some controversy surrounding the new guy. Although I don't agree with your messages, 
I do agree that the best thing for a young prospect, such as such as future, is to be taken under the wing of a mentor, someone who can show a rookie the ropes and how to conduct himself in the WWE. So, who should that mentor be? Well, it was in fact Evolution that discovered Future last week on Heat. So, in the interest of fairness, it only makes sense that they be given the opportunity to provide a stable, nurturing environment for this young talent. So, I'm in Evolution. But remember this, Triple H. This young man represents an investment. An investment made not just by, by myself, but by Mr. McMahon. Like your running buddies, Randy Orton and Batista, a rookie like this represents the future of the WWE. And... Like any valuable investment, he requires some degree of protection. As his mentor, I expect nothing less than for you to mold him to a superstar of the future and impress upon him just what it takes to succeed in the WWE. Do I make myself clear? Crystal, good. We'll see what kind of start you get off. We'll see what kind of a start you get. As the newest member of Evolution, we'll team up with Batista for a tag team. Match coming up next. Man, bro, he put me in a tag team match right now, bro. Oh, my God. I hate doing these damn tag team matches, dog. I hate them so much. It's, it's like the worst type of match. God, bro. So, I guess I'm going to go ahead and just do this one match and I'm done, bro. Because this nigga will put me in a damn tag team match and I'm in evolution. So, when this match is over, I'm going to make some new attire because I'm in evolution now. Oh, man, I I saw this shit once because I heard, I heard so much about Triple H, man. Tag match, normal, Future and Batista, Lance Storm and Val Venus, opponent side, special conditions done. Bro, we about to fuck these niggas up, though, because I got Batista with me. Damn, bro. The strongest niggas of evolution. Let's go. Face Buster. Let's get it. Yeah, these niggas ain't ready. These niggas for damn sure ain't ready. Come on, I can reverse too now. Bro, he's gonna reverse. Of course he is. Come on now. I'm not even trying to do that move, but alright. Let's go. One. Uh, if I hit him with the, uh, with the future flight, it's over. Or the Back to the Future. That's what I call my F5 variation. Bro, he about to do them gay ass super kicks again, bro. I remember this bullshit. Nah, bitch. Oh, he gonna reverse. Okay. Hurricane Rana. I'm not trying to do that same move, but alright. Let's go. What's this gonna be? Oh, I like that move. That's the Hurricane's move right there. The Eye the Hurricane or something. Let's go. Oh, uh, reverse. Oh. He tried to pull me back. Oh, here we go. Dang, bro. I can reverse too now. Oh, pump handle slam. Boom. Keep celebrating. Let's go. I'm in evolution now. I kind of like that I'm in evolution. I got backup. <laughs> I get protected. So that's the good part. I'm celebrating. Oh, no, 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 too long, too long, way too long. Damn, what the hell is that? Come on. Ah. Man, it's going to be a long match, man. These tag team matches, son, they take forever to get done. Literally, man. Hate doing these tag team matches because for one thing, these niggas always be tripping, too. Then the game, the game is so damn sensitive, man. You really got to freaking win. So it like takes forever to win. Let's go. Future driver. Oh, if I celebrate one more time, I get my finisher. Let's go. It's not sending back to the future with this one. I'm going to give him two of them as well. He getting two. Let's go. Bam. My version of the F5. It ain't over yet. He getting another one. DJ Khaled. Another one. Let's go. Boom. One, two, man, get out of here, freaking Val Venus. That nigga Lance Storm hurt. He hurt. Let's go. All right, if I if I can throw him to the corner, that would help a lot if I throw him to the corner because then I could just make him tap out. 
That that that'll probably be the best salute. Okay, I'm not trying to do that, bro. But all right, he gonna tap out anyway. Every time he keep doing that, bro, it's gonna it's gonna help me win because he keeps on trying to run in, trying to help his partner out. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, of course, nah, bro. Come on, bro, pin one, two, three. Let's go, man. We got the win. Thank God we got the win in this video, bro. Cause I, <laughs> to be honest, bro. I don't like doing tag team matches in this particular game, bro. Because the, the AI, like the artificial intelligence, bro, they be on some bullshit. But we actually got the win. Wow, let's go, man. Let's go, man. Batista, the powerhouses of evolution. Wow. We actually won that match pretty fast. That's miraculous right there. Yes, bro. I get to save the game too, man. So I go I say so I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day of uploading. Hope you guys enjoy all the walkthrough videos I upload today. I'll probably upload three more tomorrow, but actually I have pro wrestling training tomorrow at two o'clock. You know, and I'll, I might get some footage of that. If you guys wanna see that on my channel, comment down below. WFC uh, hashtag Tyson Future. If you guys wanna see that. But like, comment, subscribe, and stay fly for more content. Thank you guys for viewing. I love all y'all guys, man. Real niggas for life, man. Stay flight. Let's get it.